What is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and today I am here in Sion with my good friend Hugo Sierra. Hi everyone. It's super warm here actually, isn't it, yeah. before I say <laughs> anything, hence the shorts and all that, but yeah. Today we are here to basically announce something that we've been working on for quite a few months now. I first met Hugo, I think back in 2021, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, when I basically needed someone over here in Switzerland to set up my guitars, clean them up, make them look nice. And Hugo, it turns out, you design pickups. Yes. Um, and so we basically had a conversation, maybe after six months or something, yeah. where we decided maybe I wanted something a little bit different in my guitars. And you came up with the idea, well, why don't I basically make one for you? So we talked a little bit about the influences which I had and some of the tones which I wanted. I think in reality, it was something a bit more traditional, wasn't it? Yes. You can probably explain a bit better than me what this was, but I think I gave you like some of my favorite players and you basically came up with a crazy amount of prototypes, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> so I've put you through some hard work, I think these past few months, but maybe you want to explain a little bit more in detail about what these are then? Yeah, um, yeah, so actually at first a, you asked me if you if I could change the pickup on your guitar, yeah. and yeah, uh, after not so long, we we decide to design pickup for you, mm -hmm. and um, I think the first artist you mentioned was uh, Eric Gales, yeah, and Andy Timmons, mm -hmm. Timmons, Tim Timmons, Timmons, yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, I was listening to the music and the, the sound mm -hmm. and um, actually with the neck pickup it was very fast we mm -hmm. the, the first pickup or the two first were the, mm -hmm. the one we're still using now and we for the bridge pickup we, we did 10 bridges or something it was a lot wasn't and, it yeah, yeah. I think that was the hard balance, wasn't it? We wanted something kind of traditional yeah. for the single coils, but then for the the um, the humbucker, I wanted something a bit more modern. Yes. I guess wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on Jack's pickups, uh, like I said before, uh, all the magnets are Alnico Five. Uh, I'm not sure. We maybe we tried some prototype with ceramic, but I'm not sure. Um, and uh, the neck and the middle pickup are made with uh, foam var wire and a bridge with uh, poly wire, like the standard wire they, they use now. And yeah, the, the neck and the middle pickup are very like traditional strut, 60s strut. Yeah. So we, we tried some uh, single single coil size hamburgers for the neck, but it didn't really work really, out. Yeah, yeah, too dark. So we we stay with the traditional pickups. Yeah, with the tradi traditional sound and traditional noise. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. So they're not noiseless, are they? No. But it's the trade off, I guess, for the tone, isn't it? Yeah. That we want. I think that was the thing. Is that. We sat here with the prototypes I remember of the um, the single coils with like blind tests. Yeah. And that was probably, I mean, the humbucker took some time as well, but that was probably the hardest thing to get right. That balance of like harshness, but also cutting through. Yeah. Like you don't want it, I, I really like a bright tone, but you don't want it to be too harsh that it's kind of painful to listen yeah. to. Do you? Yeah. you still need it to cut through, I guess. And yeah. that was... That was probably the hardest part of it, wasn't it? You know, figuring out which one was which yeah. and which one we liked the most. But, yeah. but actually, we were all... Uh, when, when we tried blindfolded the, to, to listen to pick up, uh, I think almost all the time we, we prefer the same pickups. This one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then the humbucker was a little bit different, wasn't it? That one... How many did we do? Is it like 10? Something, Something like, like 10, yes. Yeah. And but that, very similar. Yeah. That's what you, you record the same take with the different pickups and the difference was very 
little. little so. Yeah. I think with that, didn't we want it like quite high output? So there's maybe like a little tiny bit of a volume difference, but that is for that kind of modern humbucker sound, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, was there anything else in particular you wanted to say about these? Um, actually, we didn't really work a lot on the middle pickup. Yeah. Um, we were very happy with the first neck pickup. And for the moment, the middle is exactly the same than the neck pickup. Yeah. But maybe it's going to change a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a little bit overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But we're not quite sure for the moment. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a guy that tends to sit in this yeah. position anyway. It's usually position four yeah. or position five. So, I mean, they sound great in both of those positions anyway. But yeah, I guess, when are these releasing? Is it the 15th of September? I guess so. They'll be <laughs> available for you guys. I know there was a lot of you asking out there, what are they? What Did you change the bridge pickup? What's going on? Now, you know, you're yeah. the mastermind behind them. Um, so I think everybody should check these out. I can't wait, man. And I can't say thanks enough for all the... The pain I must have put you through oh, going through these pleasure. prototypes, man. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, guys, there we have it. These are the new pickups. Thank you.